guys welcome back so today I'm going to be doing a kind of battle of the brows I really hope this blue background isn't making my face look green or anything weird I'm just kidding I've already color corrected my face I have a lot of redness going on so I've already kind of color corrected a little bit of some of those things that way we can really focus on what I'm talking about I've never really done like a dramatic brow routine or anything like that just because one of the products in particular that I kind of depend on for my brows does not want to cooperate ever. And it's very frustrating and always takes me forever and I don't want to talk too much about that product just because it works for me but at the same time it completely doesn't. So I did pick up some new stuff at Ulta yesterday. So first up, this is by Benefit. It's the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I have the shade number two. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times. The packaging is outstanding. And um, from what I hear, the product is pretty good. It was a few dollars more expensive than my Anastasia Brow Wiz. And my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe is going to be going against the Benefit Pencil in the shade number two. I've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz for years i've gone through many of them this one is pretty beat up this is the one that goes in my purse next i got the stila stay all day waterproof brow color this one is in the shade light the color match is pretty good this is a felt tip pen and i don't hear a lot of people using this particular type product but i don't know why but this is just something that works for me with lighter brows in my opinion it's much harder to get a defined brow because either you're piling on a bunch of product or using a color that is too dark for you pretty much. So what this Stila felt tip liner is going to be competing against is what I've been using for forever. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Brow. This is actually my either second or third one. I'm going to use the spoolie on the Benefit brow product just to tame through both brows. My brows are very uneven, so it takes me a while to try to even them out. This one um, is more of a straight brow. This one is arched. So the first thing I like to do is use the felt tip pen to draw a defined line under my brows. So first I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Brow. I'm even going to give it a little shake. Kind of not going on very well. You see what I'm dealing with here, guys? And then I like to go ahead and just kind of sketch out the arch of my brow. That wasn't too bad. The issue I usually run into is getting both brows done while the product it's still working. And now I'm going to take my Stila felt tip pen to do the same thing on the other side. And then next I like to go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz to do some filling in. I have a tiny bit of product left so I'm going to try to use what I can. Okay, so I was able to fill that in and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the Benefit Brow Pencil. And I'm going to buff that product in with my spoolie. Okay, so now I'm going back in with my felt tip pens to do some hair-like strokes in the front of the brow. And I like to hold the pencil at the very end, that way I'm giving some light pressure. So I kind of just do little hairs to make this area kind of bushy. Whenever we clean it up with concealer, it will look much different. I'm going to do a very light spoolie through this again. Then 
I go in with a brow powder. The one I use is the one from the Naked Basics palette. It's not a brow powder, it's just an eyeshadow, <laughs> but it's the shade Naked 2. This is the second palette that I've bought just for this shade in particular, so if you are blonde and you're having issues with finding a good brow powder, I highly recommend trying this one. And I only fill in the arch of the brow and the tail. It just really helps fill in any sparse areas. And to clean up the brows and just make them look a million times better, I like to clean them up typically with a concealer, but the last time I did my brows, I used my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I'm using this on a tiny little flat brush. For my more defined brow, I do like to start here. For a less dramatic brow, I would typically maybe start here, but for more dramatic, I do like to start at the front. And this is of course optional, but I do like to do tiny little flicks in the front just to kind of create that more like bushier natural look just in the front. Now I do like to clean up and help shape the tail as well. And once that's done, I do like to go in one more time with the felt tip pen just to clean up and um, even kind of extend out this tail. The Benefit Brow Pencil seemed to work just as good as the Brow Wiz. Of course, once I get to keep using it and trying it, I can tell you whether it's better or not. But for now, it works just as good. The colors that I chose, I think, match pretty perfect to what I typically use. There doesn't seem to be any like color differences or anything like that. What I can say as of now is that I much prefer the Stila Felt Tip Pen at this time. The product is coming out perfectly. With both of the Kat Von D pens that I've owned, both of them worked pretty decently on the first use, and then after that I was just having major issues. Let's just try it again, just to see. And it was just like this after I just bought it, so it's not something that it's where it's run out. This is my second one, and this keeps happening. And then this is the steel one. So the fact that the Stila one actually worked, of course, made it like amazing to me. So I'm very excited about it actually because that's why I never do my brows on camera. I've never done a brow tutorial just because I've just had my major issues, you know. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please leave me your favorite brow products in the comments. I would love to know. I'm always trying to improve my brow routine. I do my brows in a million different ways. Um, this is kind of more my defined brow. I have an even more defined brow and then I have a more natural brow. But thank you so much for watching guys. I always appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys. <clears throat> Whoa. So first and fo so first and form oh girl. So I'm going to use a spoolie on the, <sighs> Jesus. So unless, <clears throat> so unless, <clears throat> oh, I guess this one probably has a spool. Oh, it has a spoolie too. If you hear something snoring, it's my child sleeping on the couch, AKA my dog. Please excuse my ratchet ass nails. I just don't have the time, the want, the care to do anything with them.